Simmers and welcome back to another episode of my Cinderella story. I am so excited because we have one more day before it is Saturday and prom. So Cinderella is up. Oh, wait. Lady Tremaine is up as well. Okay, at least she's reading a book. So I can have her go and have a nice bath before breakfast is done. Let me do that. I kind of remember the layout of this. Okay. As I was saying, Cinderella is awake and she is going to get some breakfast started. Breakfast was made and she left it out there for the family. And she's fixing herself something to eat. No, you cannot go talk to Lady Tremaine. Just let's eat something. Okay. She is hungry and she had a low quality bath. So she is just feeling beside herself. Let me see if I can have her play the violin afterwards. That might increase her skill. And for the ladies, I think I'm going to put a little radio in here so that they can listen to music. Okay, now they can, let's see. She can turn on some, what kind of music? Some hip hop. They can listen to some hip hop music. Cinderella is trained. The minute Lady Tremaine was completed her breakfast, she instantly went and, oh, we need to clean the coop. Let's clean the coop, collect the eggs, scatter some feed. Oh, no. I forgot about that. Come on, Cinderella, you're going to get into trouble. You are not going to be allowed to go anywhere. Okay, and something else is stinky. Oh, let's clean the shed. Okay, I don't think we'll be able to get the cow out now, so she's going to have to clean the cow. When she Oh, and it's time to... Let's see, who are we going to follow? We'll follow all three of them. Cinderella has discovered that she might have a little fairy godmother, which is Principal May. So she's going to talk to Principal May. She does not know yet that that's going to be a fairy godmother. But she's going to um, chat a little bit with her and just let her know that um, what is going on in her life. Oh, she could have done the teacher too. Uh, maybe she could be, maybe the teacher could be the, the fairy godmother. I forgot about the teacher. Alina Sullivan. Let's give her a friendly introduction. Hey, <laughs> off to our first classroom for the day. So I think today is Friday. So it's exams. Um, let's see. Cinderella's on her way. Anastasia, she should be on her way. And Trisella is sad. She should be on her way too. Okay. So the girls are on their way to class. And it's about to be in... Oh, the exam has started. Alright, so Cinderella is getting out her stuff so she can start her exams. And the first exam is over. So, everybody's going to go and do what they need to do. In the meantime, oh no, do not prank the whiteboard. 
She is going to have a conversation with Alina Sullivan. Okay. Okay, and she's just chatting with the teacher and getting to know the teacher a little better. And let's see, what else could she do? Ask her about her day. And because Cinderella is kind of a loner, she is going to, oh, she was going to practice her violin. Where is it? Practice your violin until the class is over. There we go. And she is practicing in a very horrible way, but practicing her violin. Anastasia is trying to get to know Yuma, but I think Yuma is running off. So I don't think it's going to work. She wanted to ask Yuma out to prom. But sadly, that didn't happen. So she needs to get back to class. Okay. And Cinderella, come on. It's almost time. There we go. Take a seat. Oops. I did the wrong thing. Take your exam. Um, Cinderella, come and take your exam. This is the one thing that I hate about exam days is my sims never just stay in one spot. They're always walking around. All right, so Cinderella is going and taking her exam. Why, Drizella? Why are you standing? And Anastasia, why are you out of the class? You missed the exam. Oh, Lord. Okay. So, but Anastasia aced the exams. She did not even write the exams. Drizella had a rough exam day. Cinderella aced the exams. Well, good for you girls. Y'all did well. We are now going to head off home. There's no exam to take. You can't sit down and take an exam that you weren't even in there for. It's time to head home. And they are their usual selves, just angry, and Cinderella's just a ray of sunshine. The girls are back home, and Lady Tremaine is furious because Cinderella did not do as she was told to do. So she is going to just be mad at her. She is She's going to let her know that she cannot go. She will not go anywhere. They are going to go out to eat. And when they come home, they want a spotless, clean house. Because she just can't stand Cinderella. And no matter what she does, Cinderella still has that smile on her face, which makes her more angry. She's getting yelled at by Lady Tremaine. Cinderella is trying to clean up because she knows that she can't go anywhere unless um, all her chores are done. So... She's trying to clean up and just make the house look tidy before she has to go. Before she has to go shopping because tomorrow they'll be going shopping and dress fitting for the prom, which is the ball. Okay, so she's going to clean the shed. And we're going to just speed that up a little. Of her cleaning the shed.
and once she's done cleaning the shed she's gonna call over the brown cow so she can clean the cow Ooh. okay so we're gonna clean brown cow and feed it and give it a big old hug and then we gotta get rid of that throw it away I need a trash can back here I think I did download I did put one in here uh, maybe not okay so let us get a trash can do, 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 do. okay and while Cinderella was doing that Drizella had the great old idea that they could go out so she's gonna invite all the princes her mom and her sister and they're gonna go to a restaurant oh god they ate already okay I'll just push that back you good you good okay and whenever she gets she is tense from having a poor score that's okay come on let's get let's get it going let's go to that restaurant we are at the restaurant taku akiyama lady tremaine oh no anastasia likes evan oh okay let's see how it goes we're gonna request the table and the conversation is gonna flow and hopefully the table they get a nice table and everything just flows nicely And I guess this is the table that they have so let's order for the table now I am going to be ordering different um, beverages let's see so Lady Tremaine is gonna get the sour punch because she's miserable and everybody else is gonna get the fuzzy fruity drink and then let's see we need a nice meal everyone's gonna get roast chicken okay and Anastasia she's gonna have a nice conversation with charming And if, oh, I don't know which one does. Uh... Okay, and then Lady Tremaine is in a bathing suit. Oh. Is she going to ask to prom as friends? I don't know if that puts them in the friend zone. I see I think that everybody has received their food yes oh and a stay um, Drizella come and eat your food and drink your frizzy drink and I don't know if he asked you to prom did he say yes or no okay she's asked him to prom so she's gonna claim to be prom royalty there she goes the bright young lady they're gonna eat we are back home and Drizella Anastasia and Lady Tremaine have gone or going to bed 
Cinderella is going to retreat to her room because it's been a long night. Okay, so she's going to use the bathroom, take herself a bath, and then go to sleep. Unfortunately, she did not have night on the town, so she's not going to, she'll be having a bad holiday. Okay. And... And while she is, let's see Drizella. She's almost done her bath. Oh, Drizella, she's falling asleep in the bathtub. Night on the Town was successful for Lady Tremaine, Drizella, Anastasia, and it was awful for Cinderella. Hopefully next time around she'll have a better one. And Drizella, she needs to go to bed. Okay. And then everybody in the house was fast asleep. And lights out. No lights out. Okay, let's see. I prefer having my auto lights. There we go. Everybody was fast asleep. It's early morning and early Saturday morning. Cinderella is awake and is ready to go and start the day. She got to get breakfast on the table. Make sure she does a fair amount of cleaning. This is one long, long, one high tower but it's a functional house and that's all I wanted okay look at Bruno he's asleep Lucifer's awake somewhere okay and she's gonna change the music Okay, and oh, we hear the rooster. Okay, that's no, where's the two uh, hatchable eggs? Okay. And there she goes, getting breakfast ready. Cinderella has just found out that the dog is gone. And I'm just going to take that off because they're not going to be sad about the dog. Okay, and Lady Tremaine has just discovered that Bruno ran away. So she's going to use the bathroom. And then, because she is an animal lover in her own twisted evil way. So, I'm going to have her, where do I post it on? I think it's on the chat. It's not showing me. Okay, so we're going to, I'll probably do it offline. Okay, there we go. Post in a lot about the missing pet. So, she's going to post in a lot about her missing pet. And then... After this, we are gonna. She's gonna travel with just her daughters to go and do some shopping. Okay. 
Okay, with Drizella and Anastasia. They have come to the store to look at some clothing. Uh, Lady Tremaine is going to try on some stuff. Drizella is going to try on some stuff. And let's see what else can she try. She can Anastasia can try this on. Okay, and she kind of okay. So she likes it. So she's gonna purchase that outfit. She likes it too. She's gonna purchase that outfit. And she's gonna purchase that as well. And then what are these? Okay, so they're just going to go and just buy a whole lot of stuff. And Lady Tremaine, what are you going to buy? And you can buy that too. Okay. And... That's what they do. They're going to figure that they might as well just look at some clothes. Because she's buying clothes for her daughters. So that they could um, have nice clothes to wear for their prom. Alright. And now that they have bought that, they're going to go and travel to another clothing place. They have money to spend. So she's going to take them to this other boutique which is kind of close to the school okay and this boutique is in Copperdale and it's the thrift and bubble tea we are now at the thrift tea place okay so she can't buy anything because let's see she's gonna look at the fashion looks okay so we can create fashion looks in thrift tea and sell them on trendy you can also buy other listings hype them and sell them too okay so Anastasia you need to calm yourself down because I don't know why you're angry. They came to come and do some shopping. And Drizella, you can buy yourself a drink. And she's going to talk about some fashion trends. And this is the first time I'm actually going to be buying at this because I don't really buy. So Lady Tremaine is going to enjoy going shopping. Okay, and let's see. She's going to order some mango. And let us have a create. Create a fashion look. Shopping was really good. So after all that shopping that they did and spending, the ladies are now going to do their daily chores of practicing. Oh, Lady Tremaine hates having kids. She really does hate them. And even though they're teenagers and are much older, she still can't stand her kids. So they are off to go and practice um, singing. And the song they are going to sing today is Sing Sweet Nightingale. Why is she not going to sing? Okay. Anastasia is not interested in singing. So Anastasia's going to go and have a bubble bath. Maybe that'll make her feel better. 
Okay, so she's going to have a bubble bath to feel better. But she's not in the mood of singing. And let's see. No, James, we're not going to have the get-together before prom. Dreadful music is going to go on. And it's going on and going on. Let's see. Lady Tremaine is getting a call from Agnes Crumplebottom. And yes, we're going to get more money. But she's still sad. So she has difficult feelings around a child. And I'm guessing that it's both her kids. She feels a certain kind of way. Let's see. Drizella. Drizella was the unwanted child. So she... Unwanted child. She did not want any of her kids. And how does she feel about Cinderella? Nothing. Okay. From and the girls are there. As you can see, there's Drizella sitting on the couch. And she is eating. And where is our Cinderella? I hope this entrance is not lost on me because I try to, I'm trying to have Cinderella walk, oh there we go, and there's Cinderella, and she is going to say hi to Evan. Oh, look at her sitting with her stepsister. And we are going to vote for prom royalty. And she is going to vote for Drizella. And then for prom jester, she can vote for Anastasia. Cinderella is going to... Let's see, she can take a friendly photo with, with James. Oh, and he's in a flirty mood. So that's a good thing. So they are going to... She's going to ask him if he's single. And... Drizella's going to get a fruit punch, use the bathroom. Okay, and the sisters are having a ball. The music is flowing. And Julian Hilgers, where is he? Oh, oh, she likes, okay, let's see. We're just going to see who Cinderella matches with. Because I did make the princess for Cinderella, but uh, we'll see. And it's time for the announcements to see who is prom royalty. And... Let's see who are the winners. So, prom royalty is Drizella Munch and prom jester is Anastasia. So that gives Cinderella enough time to talk to Julian. Maybe she can dance with him. Let's see. So they can exchange some numbers. Ask him if he's single. He is kind of cute though. He's different from the others. And I have to take some pictures together. All right. And Cinderella is going to shoot her shot and go after Julian. Which is going to make Drizella so jealous. 
This picture has made Cinderella's night. She got to take some cute pics with him. Let's see one more. Oh, that is lovely. Look how they're looking at each other. I think Cinderella found her prince. Oh, oh. And look at Drizella. Okay, let's have them do a let, let's have them slow dance together. They can slow dance together. Where is his name? Julian. Oh, I'm dying to see how this will happen. Look at them in the time of oh and promise completed so they can't. Okay, and let's keep this party going. Want to come to the after party? Um I don't know. No, because it was beautiful. And guess who's back? Bruno. Bruno is back. So, yes, Cinderella, you need to give Bruno a bath. Hopefully that'll be fun. Okay, and is she going to take him for the bath? I guess she is, yes. So for Cinderella... The prom was everything. That was her ball. It was magical. And let us see. She got to meet Julian. This was surprisingly for me because, oh, she extreme, found him extremely attractive. It was surprising for me because I thought she would have liked James. But they didn't. Hit. Oh, she perceives him as unattractive. Okay. And then I thought she would have liked Evan, and that didn't even go anywhere. Impressed by a prom proposal. That was the person she invited to prom. He wasn't even at the prom. Anyways, we're going to end this episode off right here with Cinderella giving Bruno a bath. And then afterwards, I'll be sending them all off to sleep. But like I always say, Please give this video a great big thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, please hit that notification bell. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in the next episode.